My husband and I like to celebrate Valentine's Day the day before Valentine's Day on February 13th. And not because we're rebels, but because it's the day that we actually met. So tonight we'll go out to dinner like we have for, I don't know, like 13 years? How many years has it been since we met? I had just moved to Los Angeles from New York City. I started my career in New York City, lived there for a few years, and then just kind of decided, I needed a change. By the way, I'm not getting ready for dinner. I'm just getting ready for some like Zoom meetings for the day because I still have work to do today. It's a Monday. Just doing my brows. I put some tinted brow gel on from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna go in with this make pencil in a little bit, curl my lashes, put a little bit of mascara, some lip balm. So I was three days into living in Los Angeles. Like I had just moved to LA. I actually knew a few people because you know, when you work in New York City, especially in the media, you tend to know a lot of people that live in Los Angeles too. I hadn't even found an apartment yet. I was actually sleeping on my friend Anna's uh, sofa in Glendale because I didn't even know where I wanted to live. I had been in this on and off again relationship in New York City and you know, I didn't really wanna be in a serious relationship again for a little bit just because you know, you need to have some space in between. I wanted to slut it up a little bit. I, you know, get an invitation to go to a birthday party for a friend's birthday party. So I don't actually know the birthday girl. The bar was called Crown, Crown Bar. I don't even think it exists anymore. It obviously doesn't exist anymore. This is years ago, 2009, you guys, 2009. I tell this one guy that I'm gonna be at Crown Bar that night if he wants to meet up. So I go to this birthday party and I'm not even there for very long and the guy texts me that he's actually gonna show up to the party. So when he arrives, there's this long line to get into this bar because it was actually like a pretty happening bar. It was like a bar club. And he sends me a text, he's like, there's this long line. You know, I'll, I'll be right in. When I get to the door though, I'll text you because I might need help getting in. So I am waiting at the door all by myself and the man who is my husband now walks up to me, he says, it looks like you're waiting for somebody. And I'm like, I am. And I just kind of turn my back to him, you know, like, I don't wanna to talk to you, I'm, I'm waiting for somebody. Instead of walking away and getting the hint, he actually just stood there with a big smile on his face. He's like, so I'm like, okay, I guess he's just like a weird, friendly Angelino. He's like, so you're not from here, huh? I'm starting to like talk to him a little bit because he knows I'm waiting for somebody. So now what harm is there, right? He, he knows I'm not interested. So we just kind of keep talking. He looks over at my phone. He can see like the name pinging in. I'm like, why are you looking at my phone? And he says, well, looks like Jason is about to come in. So um, you never said that he's your boyfriend though. So can I get your phone number? Going in with the telescopic lift. It's honestly, I've used it a few more times. It's not my favorite mascara. Kind of clumpy, like it flakes on me and stuff and gets under my eyes. So that's why I don't love it. I love the original more. I'm obviously a little taken aback. Like I was, I was surprised, right? That he's asking for my phone number. So I didn't know what to do. So I gave him my phone number. And then I don't hear from him for like a good three days or something like that. He claims that he picked up like two other phone numbers that night, um, which I don't doubt because he was obviously, you know, trolling for uh, some ladies. So we dated casually because he was playing it cool. Like he didn't care either. Like, oh, I'm, I'm not trying to be in a serious relationship either. Even though the whole time he was starting to get like antsy about what was going on with us. But he basically said he needed this to be a little bit more defined. So we decided to go ahead and define it. And then eventually we got married.